Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day uh, to everybody. So uh, this is a video for the courses of MME 6174 uh, designed for manufacturing and assembly, the FMA. So in this video, uh, we will discuss about the printed circuit board uh, known as PCB design for manufacture and assembly. So in this uh, topic, we will discuss about the design sequence for printed circuit board, the types of printed circuit boards, uh, the assembly of printed circuit boards, the estimations of PCB assembly cost, uh, several key studies in PCB assembly, and also the PCB manufacturability and design considerations. So these uh, two figures of the examples. So the first figure shows the example of a schematic diagram uh, layout for PCB design. Uh, the second figure is the example of a PCB uh, front and back side. Yeah. So design procedures for PCBs uh, differ considerably from those used for mechanical devices. In addition, the use of a computer added design uh, CAD techniques has in general been much further developed and integrated into the design process uh, than for the mechanical products. So the sequence for the design of a PCB are uh, as follows. First, uh, the development of a functional circuit schematic diagram to meet the design uh, specification and performance of the circuit. Second is the circuit layout design. Uh, in this stage, it leads to the artwork to the artwork for the circuit, including component layout, routing of conductors, and also component selections. So layout design is a, is actually a complex task involving uh, many interrelated considerations including the component area, number of sites, number of boards, uh, volume computing, which is the volumetric space taken up by the board, and also actual layout design, including component placement and also conductor routing. So a number of computer aids have been developed to assist with this design task, including the auto placement and routing uh, artwork preparation and so on. However, many of these tasks are carried out without any assessment of cost until much later in the overall uh, design process. So PCB or the printer circuit boards are manufactured in a variety of types and also configurations. The choice of board type depends uh, upon a number of factors, yeah, and several factors including first is the function of the board itself, second space available related to the component density, third component availability, fourth cost and working environment, and also any standards applied to the board itself. So circuit boards are produced with copper circuit traces on an insulating backing material. So, yeah, this is uh, uh, several factors here yeah, involved uh, in the choices of the board uh, type. So, yeah, as, as you can see in this figure, this is also a, a five PCB design know how, uh, the design sequence of the PCB. So, fine tuning your component placement, placing your power, ground, and signal phrases, keeping things separate, combating heating issues checking your layout against your PCB designs uh, rules. So the process uh, includes uh, the design circuit using the crocodile technology, convert the circuit to PCB layout using real PCB, then peel back the protective layer on photoresist board, then place the photoresist board on top of transparency, uh, wash with water and clean tracks with uh, pumice stones, and then place photo resist board in etching tank. After that, place the photo resist board in developing tank 
and then it continues with the photo resist board and transparency in light box and then it starts it it it's continue again with the drill component holes in pcb followed by the plate to place the components and solder and then we have a quality check uh, to look for errors and lastly we connect to the power source and do several testing on the circuit itself okay so this is a uh, uh, different figures which shows uh, first one is the layout of the PCB. So this is the schematic and this is the real uh, PCB. Yeah. Okay. So various materials uh, are used for the insulating layers of the board uh, as shown in this table. So the majority of boards are made from a reinforcing material and a thermosetting resin. But some ceramic boards are also used, uh, particularly in military applications. Yeah? So as you can see here, uh, there are several uh, resins such as the uh, phenolics, uh, epoxy, polymide, uh, alkydes, uh, and also silicons. Yeah? Okay. So actually, there are two basic types of uh, technology used for PCB. First, they're called as the PTH, or what it means by the pin through hole. Second one is SMD, which is the surface uh, mount device. Yeah. So after manufacture, the bare uh, PWB, it must be populated with electronic components uh, that are soldered off the board circuit path. So two basic types of the technology used for PCBs, uh, uh, pin through hole or PTH and also surface mount device or SMD technology, yeah, as shown in the figures before, uh, in the previous figures, yeah. Okay, so through the whole technology, electronic components with leads are passed through holes in the pot and clinch for temporary securing before being soldered to the circuits, usually by automated wave soldering. So this is an older technology, but uh, this PTH is still used for many PCBs for which high circuit density is not required because of the low overall cost. There is a large range of standard electronic components and package styles available. Many of the standard in PTH components can be inserted using high speed automatic equipment, but odd form and large components must be inserted manually or robotically. Yeah, you can use, uh, you can insert it by manual or using a robot. So a large proportion of PCBs now use SMD technology, the surface mount device technology. The surface mount components are soldered onto pads uh, on the board surface and result in higher component densities than the PTH boards. The trend toward even smaller electronic products has to some extent been possible because of the increased use of SMD technology to miniaturize the PCB assemblies. Again, there is a larger of number standard SMD package styles and most of these are inserted using special purpose high speed equipment. So soldering is usually achieved by reflow soldering for which the bare boards are screen printed with solder paste in appropriate places prior to placement of the electronic components. Yeah? So many bots are produced using a mixture of PTH and SMD components, which generally complicates the assembly sequence, but is often necessary because all component types are not widely available in surface mount package styles. For high production volumes, most manufacturers use a combination of both automatic and manual insertion because odd shaped or non-standard components cannot be handled by the automatic insertion machines. However, it is desirable to use automatic insertion machines wherever possible since they can operate much faster and with greater reliability than manual workers. For those PCBs manufactured in small batches and uh, where the applications involve severe working environment, 
such as for the uh, like uh, military applications assembly is still sometimes uh, entirely uh, done by hand yeah okay these are the procedure comparison between the THT and the SMD technology if you can see for SMD first you begin with the solder paste printing and then continues with this SMD parts placement and also the reflow soldering while the three first stages for THT are the first THT parts replacement and then inspection and rectification and then do the wave soldering and then uh, both uh, technologies continue with the following process which is the inspection and uh, also cleaning yeah okay uh, the first step in the production of a pcb assembly is the manufacture of the bare printed wiring board or known as the pwb printed wiring board onto which the electronic components are to be mounted so the manufacture of pwbs requires uh, numerous steps including uh, the selective etching of flat circuits of copper onto the non-conductive sheet. So PWBs have circuits on the external faces and for multi-layer boards on the internal layers or the cores also. So for the multi-layer boards, the inner layer circuits are produced first and then the layers are laminated together using a laminating press. After this, the external circuits are produced. Depending on the size of boards, several are produced together from the standard panels. The individual boards are sheared from the panels at some stage in processing, and this may be after the assembly of the finished PCB. So the basic sequence of processes for producing the circuits is essentially uh, the same yeah, for both internal and external circuits. So the starting point is a non-conductive sheet uh, laminated uh, with a thin layer of copper foil. So as shown here are the following basic sequence uh, produced uh, the circuit. First is to the laminates are coated with UV sensitive photoresist. And then the second step, the track pattern is imaged onto each side of the base round using overlays or masters and UV light. The third process is the photoresist is developed, leaving the photoresist only where copper is required. Then uh, it continues uh, with the, the laminates are put in acid bath to etch away exposed copper, forming the track pattern. Fifth step, uh, the bare boards with tracks and pad is clean, so the cleaning process. And lastly, each circuit layer is usually inspected using automated optical inspection automated optical inspection or known as aoi prior to lamination so as shown in this figure is the example of the bare printed wiring board or pwb okay okay what are the main cost drivers in manufacturing the bare pwbs the main cost drivers in manufacturing of bare, bare uh, PWBs are in the first number of layers and the board thickness, the copper weight, the minimum conductor spacing, minimum trace weight, and also the gold uh, plated uh, edge connector. Okay, next, this is the design sequence for the PCB. We begin with the schematic entry. We produce the net list and also the bill of materials. And then we do the error checking, the transcription errors or other circuit errors. And then we did the component placement, uh, continued with the wiring connection, which is routing. And then uh, we did a design rule checks. And lastly, we did the plotting. Okay, here are some important uh, parameters that need to be considered in terms of first the electrical or electronic performance you have to look on the power output the frequency response sensitivity and also signal to noise ratio in the mechanical parts you you have to look on the volume area or height constraints uh, the weight constraints 
um, special ships to fit in with uh, the uh, existing mechanical components and uh, also the special uh, packaging. In the environmental environmental aspects, you should uh, take care on the ambient temperature range, uh, the humidity, the shock and vibration, uh, the altitude, and also the altitude. Yeah. Okay. So the advanced PCB CAD or the computer added design tools is a necessity on the schematics the component library, the critical parameters. Uh, in the in the CAT tools, you can see the critical parameters, the placement constraints, electromagnetic compatibility, and also thermal limitations. Also, you can do the automatic routing, final touch on the manual routing, and also verification yeah, by doing the final simulation, and also back annotation in the PCB computer the design tools. And the output of using the CAD tools, is you will get the final schematics. You will have the assembly drawing. You also documentation for PCB manufacture or the Gerber file giving input for making PWB manufacturing data, which includes the data for photo or laser plotter for making photographic films and printing masks, uh, data for numeric drilling and milling machines, data for placement machines, and also data for test pictures and testing machine. Here are some uh, examples, uh, figures on the types of the PCB. You have here the single-sided, uh, double-sided, uh, multi-layer PCB. This is what they call as a rigid PCB, flexible PCB, yeah? a flexible one, uh, a rigid flex PCB, uh, aluminium bag PCB and also the high frequency PCB. This is uh, an example of a PCB placed in a phone. Yeah? This is, I think this is uh, the integrated telephone system. Okay. So there is also uh, mixed PCBs. Uh, mixed PCBs are quite common due to first is the technical issues. Second is the component availability and cost. Third is the available capacity and performance of equipment in PCB manufacturing line. Yeah, so eight, fac eight factors in PCB assembly cost breakdown are board size and number of layers, board and component material. You have to look on the technology use, whether it's between the surface mount device uh, SMD versus THT, the design complexity, and uh, meeting standards and also certifications. You also have to look on the order volume and setup time, uh, the lead time and other complementary services. Okay, let's take a look in the PCB in circuit testing. Yeah, two types of testing of the PCB assembly are usually necessary and these are in circuit testing and functional testing. So during in circuit testing, the board is checked for continuity or short circuits that may occur due to solder bridges or open circuit. For instance, bent or broken leads. So wrong components and incorrect orientations are also determined uh, together with the components damaged by uh, the electrostatic discharge. So in circuit testing is uh, usually carried out using a special bed of nails test fixture to give access to the test points on the circuit board itself. So the fixture is actually consists of a number of spring loaded contacts which serve as probes interfacing with board components and also contact points. So special purpose pre-programmed test routines are utilized to test the board. Functional testing use the PWBH connector as the testing interface. Functional testing generally checks for failures such as invalid system input or outputs, bad timing, and also interface problems. The automatic test equipment basically simulates the electrical interface that the PCB assembly experiences during operations. So the test may be uh, run static or dynamic. 
which test for timing errors in addition uh, to logic levels. Yeah. So PCB in testing, uh, in circuit testing, pricing generally starts at $10,000 and can reach up to $50,000. So what are the factors affecting this cost? Several factors are affecting the, uh, the in-circuit testing cost, which are first the volume, the board size, uh, the board complexity, and also the time. Yeah. So when we talk about the case study in PCB assembly, there are several case studies uh, done before. You have to think about manufacturing. So at the end of the day, you are likely to design a PCB to have it made physically by your manufacturer. So you design it, your manufacturer will produce it. So because of this, you need to keep several considerations in the back of your mind as you go about designing. OK, the first is about the component orientation. OK. Besides that, you should also think about routing. It goes without saying that many beginner designers make the mistake of uh, the mistake that they've they done is cramping their components too close together Yeah, on the first layout only to run out of space when it's time to start routing. So you have to also define your process. First step is take the schematic that you finished earlier and turn into a new PCB layout and then place and rotate all of your components working to minimize the length and crossing of air wires and lastly finish up your placement process by resizing the dimensions of your board layout in preparation for routing. Okay, in the PCB's manufacturability, to guarantee that the PCBs that you design uh, is manufactured with the highest quality by the vendor uh, that you appoint or the company that you appoint to produce it uh, to ensure highest quality performance and also durability. It is uh, essential yeah, to pick up a PCB manufacturer which has a high level of expertise and focus on quality at each stage. So guideline for design for manufacture, you have you should design with a few layers, course pattern, uh, standardization, make a robust design, robust design, cost tolerances, and orderly placement. Yeah. Uh, besides that, uh, you have also to take into account on the PCB design uh, guidelines for the right quality. You have to choose uh, uh, best suited technology, uh, whether THD or SMD, cho choice of components, uh, right compromise between the performance, reliability, cost, and etc. You have to think on the design for production and for testability, and also design for repair. Yeah. So in PCB uh, design. Uh, the aspects of the minimum dimensions, uh, the conductor cross-section areas and resistivity of the material will determine the maximum current capacity and thereby minimum dimension. So the current capacity is actually limited by excessive heating of the conductors and also the PCB. So maximum allowed ohm uh, voltage uh, drop along the conductor also determines the minimum dimensions yeah okay uh, if you can see in this figure so via holes should be separated from the soldered lens like this so via hole so uh, this kind of hole is not preferred and then the solder lens for SMD components should be separated from heavy copper areas by narrow constrictions so conductors should preferably leave the solder lens of one component symmetrically. And dummy lens for better control of the amount of adhesive in wave uh, soldering process. So what you have to consider in the design for testability is first is uh, the correct position of test point uh, separated from the solder lens. Uh, this is a test point as shown in this figure. So the test points on solder lens are not recommended like this in figure B. This is not recommended and testing on components or component leads uh, should be avoided. Yeah, OK. 
So when designing a PCBs, you have to work with the right people, including the marketing and also the production people. Work together, yeah, and make sure that you work with the best tools. So use a good uh, design guidelines and do not violate the design parameters as mentioned before. So robust design to allow for process variations. Uh, use all the land dimension templates. Uh, design for tests. Uh, specific design methods for applications with specific requirements and also high speed, high power and etc. So uh, that's all uh, our uh, lecture on the topics of the printed circuit boards or the PCB. Thank you.